Today's video is sort of a public safety announcement. I have noticed now a worrying trend in the incorrect use of connectors uh, for the power supply for the diesel heaters. There are, not, well, at least now two manufacturers uh, doing it, and I'll come back to that at the end. The problem is they have started to use IEC C13, C14, can't remember which is male and female, but one or the other. It is a standard kettle lead plug. That is basically, in the UK, you'd have your UK plug at one end and your 3-pin uh, IEC C13, C14 plug to supply mains voltage to your device. That is 230 volts AC, uh, you know, alive and neutral, and the pin in the middle would be the earth. That you would plug into your, you know, main socket, like the main socket up there, into the wall, and get, you know, full electrical power. Uh, and that's, and, and they're putting them in diesel heaters for the 12 volt connection. This is, here we have your IEC plug at this end, and then at the other end, it's just two wires for connection to your battery. 12 volts at this end, and, ah. Oh, and now to that end, and here we have, as seen in a previous video, a brick power supply with an unfused, and was at this end, an unfused UK plug at this end, and an IEC at this end, and an output of 12 volts and 12 amps. So plug in at the wall to get your mains EC, and then output 12 volts over this IEC plug. Now, the problem is not the ability of the plug to carry electricity. I think these are rated up to, it's either, so maybe some of them are, that one's rated to, well, that one's rated to 10 amps at 250 volts, so what's 10 amps no matter what the voltage, that's rated to 10 amps. I'm sure some of them are rated higher, up to 15 amps, and that's a 10 amp one as well. I'm sure there's, the plug specification is supposed to be up to 15 amps, so. It can carry the power required to start a diesel heater. That's not really a problem. The current is not the problem. It is the ability to get them mixed up. If you are not a competent person, I, I, I imagine it happens, not everyone can read and write. It's a fact of today's world. Not everyone has the capability to read and write, but we can do shapes. And if you were to see the shape, in the back of your diesel heater and you didn't know any better you would take this shape and you would perhaps take a plug like this and plug it in and then plug it into the wall and turn it on and at best uh, it pops the fuse in the plug unlikely to happen and you murder the power supply not the power supply the ECU in the heater with a loud bang and a spark perhaps Worst case is it kind of, well, burns in, you know, actually there's two worst cases. It starts a fire and burns in a horrible mess and sets fire to things. Or it makes the diesel heater live at mains voltage, resulting in possible electrocution and death, depending on where you live in the world. I'm going to now reach over for a power supply. It is, doesn't matter which power supply I'm going to get. It's just the one that happens to be nearest the bench. It's more for illustrative purposes than anything else. Uh, what is it anyway? It's an EcoFlow River 2. So see we have, we have here the IEC plug for mains voltage charging and here we have one of the uh, the X, is it XT or XT? I'm sure it's XT. XT connectors, that's an XT60, designed for the carriage of low voltage and lots and lots and lots of current. Hence they supply it with it is an XT60 is the size. This is a, an extension cable for, I think it's for joining solar panels, or Y cable for solar panels. But anyway, again, low voltage, up to like, well, probably 48 volts in the case of things. But anyway, 12 volts, that would be XT60. That would do your 12 volts. I did have, did I bring the, there you go. A 12 volt cigarette lighter plug and an XT60 plug on the end of that, again, for low voltage. You cannot get the two mixed up. You can't plug the low voltage side into the mains and you can't plug the mains into the low voltage side. 
But you can if you're the diesel heater manufacturers now. You can because there's the thing. They also make diesel heaters out there that will take a mains supply in the back of them and inside the diesel heater is a power supply that takes it down to 12 volts or 24 volts. So that's the problem is they make heaters that accept IEC plugs that you can plug into them and that gets you, you know, so you can run it off 12 volts or you can run it off main supply. But now they're making only 12 volt heaters that have the same plug on the back of them and, and, and thus ensues confusion and possible danger. So this is my public safety warning to anyone out there to be very, very careful about plugging in an IEC plug into the back of a heater if you don't specifically know it's designed to run at mains voltage. And by that, I mean, if, if you have to, open it up and make sure inside that it's either going to a power supply. Uh, I don't have one to illustrate. You know, a little, um, like an LED driver power supply, as in mains comes in and 12 volts comes back out. Because if not, it'll just be Two bare wires inside to run the heater. That's that's almost a guarantee that it is a 12 volt system and you should not be plugging it into the mains. So I'm not going to name names of companies in this video that are doing it because at least one of them so far that I've emailed, emailed has come back and said, all right, we're sorry, we didn't realize that we shouldn't really be doing this. We're going to contact folk that have bought the heaters and we're going to put the uh, extra warning labels on the ones we've got and we want to try and fix the problem that we've created. So until I'm going to give them enough time to do that before I name names and release videos etc because hopefully they'll send a new modified version of the heater with their changed plugs and then we'll show the comparison and show that they've actually done the thing that we're going to do and make the change. And if they don't make the change then we shall name and shame them and that'll be that and I'll, that'll, I'll be that. I'll just name and shame them and show you what they've done. But, but, I mean, you can already go back and look on my channel at the videos that I've made of the other uh, company that has, is using these plugs and I really, really wish they would stop and I don't really encourage MD to buy them with those plugs in the back of them because I say it's dangerous and even if you buy the heater and then maybe you give it to somebody else and they don't, they just see the plug and they don't understand and they plug it in the mains and if they were killed or injured, I imagine you'd probably feel quite bad about it. So. Be warned, there are diesel heaters out there that do accept mains plugs in the back of them and they are supposed to run on mains voltage and there are other ones using the same plug to run at 12 volts and it's supposed to be a weird 12 volt transformer they give you or a weird cable with the IEC plug at one end and bare wires at the other end. So please, please, please be careful about plugging these diesel heaters in. If you have any comments, questions, anything like that, please leave them down below and I will try my very best to answer them. And as always, thanks for watching.